with Jennifer Van Benscoten, the editor of Beading Daily. And Jen, you have a great idea for bead embroidery. I love it. Thank you. Um, I like to use these special shaped check glass beads called gumdrops in my bead embroidery because they give the bead embroidery a little bit of dimension and a little, a little interest. A centerpiece too. Yes. Yeah, so how do we get started? Well, basically I take a small piece of stiffened felt um, and it's better to start small. You don't want to get too overwhelmed. And then I take one of my little gumdrop beads and I just stitch it down to the middle a couple times just to hold it in place. All right. Once it's in place, um, I will add a little beaded bezel around it using backstitch. And backstitch is really pretty easy to learn. All you have to do, you come up from your felt, you add two beads, um, stitch your beads down to the felt. Yeah, now is it important to use a particular kind of thread or needle? Do we need to know what size? Um, you can use whatever needle you're comfortable with. I like to use a size 12 beading needle, but you can also use a size 10 if that's what you're comfortable with. Okay. Same thing with length. Just whatever you're, more, whatever you're most comfortable with. And you could always add more thread later. You can always add more thread later. Thread is easy to add. Okay, so there you pressed your needle up through the bottom of the felt. Yep, and, and then just back through that last bead that I added. All right. Now for the first row of back stitch, you're going to use peyote stitch to make a beaded bezel. So it's important that you have an even number of beads around it. What I like to do, if I come up short on space, um, I'll just add two very teeny tiny skinny beads in the middle. Okay. To make sure I have an even number. Then once you've done your peyote, then once you've got your once you've got your uh, first ring of back stitch down, you just work in regular tubular peyote. Um, it's pretty simple. And then when you're done, you just do that for one round. And then at the end, what I like to do is add a round of size 15 beads in a contrasting color, usually like a metallic. That looks really pretty. Now, for people who aren't as familiar with peyote stitch, um, mm -hmm. can you show us on this one how you would sure. get to the next row? It's I think I added three beads on the first. Oh, so and I that's think okay for one more. because we've got room for one more, and that's perfect. See, and that works out perfectly. So we'll just add one more bead on here. We'll just add one more. And you can use this technique to bezel any stone. Anything cabochon. you can use beads that are coin shaped too. Coin shaped. You can use a cabochon. You can sew down a, a, a large focal bead. You can do pretty much anything with this. So all you have to do is pick up a bead, skip the next bead in your row, in your round, and go through the next bead. So then when those two rows are finished, then you showed us how to add the gold, and that's just laying a bead in between each. Yep, just working around in peyote stitch. Okay. That's all. Well, Nothing let's take fancy. a look at what's next. Well, next, what I like to do is when you're done with your bezel, you take that back stitch and you work. I like to work one round in a larger size bead, like a size eight. That looks um, great. Thank you. Yeah, and it gives it gives a little bit more dimension. And then I'll work a couple of rows with size 11 seed beads. Um, you can use pretty much any color you want. You can use two colors or three colors or four colors. And in each of these, I've done, I've done each round a little differently, and that's where the meditative part of it comes in, because you can just kind of, whatever moves you, um, play you with can it. do. And play it looks with like it. you coordinated the felt colors, too. I did. I coordinated the felt with the beads and the gumdrops, yes. Um, when you're finished with your embroidery and you're happy with your embroidery, um, you trim off your excess felt. And I like to lay it on a piece of imitation suede. And then you just add a simple edging using brick stitch. Um, all you have to do for that is you pick up a bead. And what you'll do is you'll stitch your needle through all your layer, through both layers, through your leather and your felt. Okay. All the way through. And then you just go right back through your bead. So you want your beads extending outward from the edge? Yes, you want them perpendicular to the edge. Um, so that you can see the little holes on top. All right. And you want the little holes on top because sometimes what I like to do for a little extra, for a little extra fun, is I like to add a little embellishment with these peanut beads. Um, they've got the hole in the center and they've got little bumps on the end. And I'll just pick up four or five of them and then count three or four beads. Oh, so that's sort of backstitch. Would you consider that backstitch too? Kind of. 
Kind of. It's kind. Of, it's more like a fringe. It's more like a fringe. Like you're just adding little loops. Oh, nice. Through those through those brick stitch beads that you just added, and it gives it. You know, it makes Great. it a little fancy. Yeah, definitely. So let's take a look at your finished necklace. And these mm -hmm. mandalas are bigger. Yes. So is there anything special that you have to do for those? Not really. The only thing I would do for these, um, in terms of stitching, it's the same. But when you're finishing them, um, I like to use a little piece of plastic milk jug in between. So the... you would cut a piece of this to layer in between? Yep, just a little, just a clean plastic milk jug. And I would just put that between the felt and the leather. And it just, it just makes them feel a little more substantial so they're not going to... They don't flop yeah. around so much. Gives them a little more structure. Yeah. All right. And t what can you tell us about this one? This is another piece made with the gumdrop beads. And I really love it because it's completely different from the bead embroidery. It's actually bead, bead weaving. But no matter how you use them, I like the way the gumdrops give it a little added dimension. Definitely. It's gorgeous. So thank you so much, Jen.